What's up guys, it's Darno here and today we're playing full AP Gwen, I'll be playing against Vex. Let's start with Darn's Blade and he first. So I'm playing with the best build and runes for season 12 with Conqueror. Conqueror seems the best because when auto attacks a lot it's fairly easy to gain stacks and she benefits from adaptive force. She can make a really nice straight early and once loaded you heal. The healing is greater since she is a melee champion, tenderous presence of mind for mana. This, this is for attack speed. She is melee so she often gets below 60% HP so I get more damage. Then sudden impact to get additional damage after E dash and Ravnus Hunter for healing. Against Vex you can also start with Drawn Shield but I feel like Drawn's Blade seems the best. Okay, this was solid. And additional one, and I have 10 stacks. I won't be able to maintain them, but already done a really nice trade. And now I'll be able to hit level 2 before her. Now I'm collecting stacks up to 4 stacks. And then I'll be able to consume that. And you combine Q with E. So you cast EQ or QE. Try to actually press Q and E at once. So then you start the animation and it can confuse your enemy at the same time dashing. After casting your E, your basic attacks are empowered, you deal additional magic damage. As you can see you can just make great use of E to avoid some spells like I did. You can avoid spells with W, so she seems to be a great counter pick against Vex. Once again, 4 stacks I'm going in. You deal true damage if you manage to hit an enemy in the middle of the cone hitbox of the Q, like here, as you can see. Q consumes these stacks to deal more damage, that's why I'm collecting them first and then I go in. Oh, I'm wasting her time. And that's it. You wanna max Q first. Is that nice? Hey. And Morgana survived, clean guys. Keep calm and that's it. Gonna keep these stacks to kill like this. And now Vex is going to lose this wave, so it's really worth it. As you can see, Duran's Blade is the best, since you ult a lot, so you gain this additional attack damage and you also heal for a slight amount. Let's get this. After Riftmaker, I'm gonna build Nashor's Tooth. No matter, mine will be stronger. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. Wouldn't be fair if I didn't present my best. Actually, I want to roam still. I've got to make each footprint mean something. Promptly, 
Shield. You know, somehow I believe that my allies can join, but I miscalculated, so it was unnecessary. I could have just went back. But I saw Vayne being low on HP and I tried to make it somehow. She's out of mana. Bye. Thanks to Conquer, you can just delete anyone in a single combo if you have ult. The way your ult works, you apply the slow, it deals magic damage and you fire needles based on the stacks. So, with each cast you fire more needles. The first one is a single needle, the second cast 3 needles and third cast 5 needles. And in order to obtain another stack, in order to obtain another stack, you have to hit your enemy. Okay. I will have to focus Vayne hard. Out would finish her off, you know. Soon she'll be out of Out's potential damage range. Yeah, she's healthy enough, so Jinx Out won't kill her anymore. So, if I cast a single Out, I have to attack immediately, like with Out or any ability to obtain another, and then I press Out again. And if you do it quickly, Tons of bursts. I use ability haste boots to have lower cooldowns, it's the best to just be able to dash more often. And W grants you armor and magic resist in order to The biggest thing about W is the fact that you can avoid some ability, you just have to be in a distance from your enemy. If you stand too close, it won't work. Bye. So satisfying. Okay, Vi is around there, so I can collect this thread plating. Remember to cast E because that way you can maintain your additional damage. After E, when you hit an enemy, you get 50% cooldown refund.
That's not enough for Riftmaker yet. Gonna farm until I be able to afford it and then I'm back. Okay, that's it. These turrets look strong. It'll be quite fun cutting them down. Feels matters more. Warm, safe, like nothing can hurt me. Okay. This fabric can become something beautiful. My work here can do just the same. She is dead. Oh, Jonathan will do something. He marks second. Then we do the drag. Oh, she stole that. Okay, where is she? Oh, there she is. She fooled them. We are not able. That's the first threat. I learned this trick. I know you'll be all right. Natural stuff next. Gwen is also a really nice split pusher since. She's great at pushing and she's great at 1v1, even 1v3 situations sometimes if you have ult. So she applies huge pressure. Timo. Okay. I'll break as many needles as it takes to get this right. <laughs> Hold on. He's actually fat. Don't start a fight without me. Your team has destroyed a turret. There if I didn't present my best. Promptly. Okay, immune. Ah, uh, if not the flash. Chop. An ally has been slain. Uh, if Jinx focused the turret, Rift wouldn't lose half. We 
because it would just dash on the next through it. Still alive, okay. God. Oh. It's worth it. We are outnumbered. Okay, that's it. Vine will stop, okay. We Drake. Bot. Yeah. <laughs> like and I push some more. Oh no! I messed up my dash somehow. It was this part of the wall where it was thicker. Unfortunate, like it didn't happen to me for such a long amount of time. Okay, I'm getting stopwatch in case I get heavily focused. Okay, bye. No stitching that back together. Now I'm gonna push this bot lane. Nashor stuff is so good on Gwen. Oh, it's mine. Doesn't work. Okay, I should get. Yeah, I had to flash to avoid the condemn. Probably that. I would like get a penta. I'm not sure if Janna had the shield. But if she did, if she shielded me, I would do a penta because I would heal from out surely three times. Three times. It was worth trying. I didn't have to go in that early into Timo with blind and with the fact that his fed he had with sent some magic resist. It was a matter of seconds. Stop. I think I pressed Q too early. Didn't have enough stacks. Oh, Baron. Already just like that. Well, they can 
Keep on trying. Okay, my job was to stop Baron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she got baited. They stopped Baron, okay. That's what I wanted. I die. Happens. I should have backed after an inhibitor. I could have switched Trinket to Red because of Timo. Pressing W for additional resist. I just used my ult since I had nothing to lose. Like, I couldn't. I wanted to maintain for potential third cast and have to go in. Oh, to protect. That was intense, I got heavily focused. Baron. Baron or finish? We can finish. Nah, Baron. I calculated that we wouldn't be able to finish. Especially with Baron gone, I can switch Trinket. I use Blue Trinket to secure key objectives. I don't know why. And before the Drake, sadly. So I won't be a dragon soul. 
they are very likely to take this now. If we fight for the Drake, it's 50 50. Actually, less than 50 50. Trauma? We have Baron, so that counts. We don't have to fight. Yeah. Off. <laughs> Once again, I got heavily focused, but it's so worth it every time. I should survive this. Yeah. get rid of inhibitors. We are not able to finish. We can push top. I'll break as many needles as it takes to get this right. An ally has been slain. Your team has destroyed a turret. Ah, I couldn't. That was too much. I'm taking Banshees now. Yeah, that was unnecessary. We could have pushed the turret. Or we could have just bucked, since Morgana didn't follow us and she died around here. Let's strike USS. Oh, we should push top. We should just go as 5 and push. Inhibitors are taken, so there's no point going mid or bot. <laughs> okay, and that's the game guys. It was interesting, I think. Look at that pushing power. So I hope that you learned something about Gwen and that you enjoyed. You can tell me in the comments what do you think and you can like and subscribe. Also, check out my other videos and stream. See you next time.